does it take to fuel innovation? Actual fuel? Well, yes, that's true. Hardworking engineers? Definitely. Hardworking engineers and a whole lot of caffeine? Absolutely. Integration? Well, now you're talking. It seems like I am always discussing integration on some level or another. As engineers, we are constantly looking to streamline, come up with new ways to put components together. But today's Chalk Talk is taking integration to a whole new level, to a psalm level. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. We have come a long way since the first days of System on Modules. Today's psalms can bring a variety of benefits that weren't around just a couple years ago. In today's Chalk Talk, Karan Kantharia from Xilinx joins me to talk about the new Xilinx Kriya System on Module. Karan and I dig into the details of this new psalm, why it enables faster time to deployment versus a device-based design, and how you can get your next Kriya-based design up and running in less than an hour. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Xilinx. Hi, Karan. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, hey, Amelia. Pleasure talking to you, and thanks for having me today. Absolutely. Okay, so before we get started, can we talk about the concept of system on modules a bit, and why do you think they're becoming mainstream? Sure, Amelia. Starting with the definition, SOMs are small embedded boards about the size of a credit card that includes an SOC such as a microprocessor, GPU, or in our case, FPGA, memory, power management, and other supporting circuitry. A customer selects the SOM based on the required specifications and determines if it fits the target application needs. Once the SOM is selected, they start evaluating the design with the help of a SOM-based development kit. The development kit consists of the SOM they selected, a carrier card, and multiple interfacing options. They start customizing their software and AI models with the help of this kit. So in the meantime, the hardware team starts building a custom carrier card for the selected SOM. They select the sensors and choose the summer solution for production deployment. And when you look at what SOMs do, they essentially abstract the hardware so developers can design at the board level versus the chip level. Hardware designers tend to love SOMs because they can avoid the lower value design work since we have pre-built most of the standard peripherals onto the SOM. And software developers tend to like SOMs because they can start their work in parallel with the hardware team right out of the gate. Combining that with the production-ready nature of SOMs leads to enormous time to market benefits and thus they are becoming mainstream now. Okay, so what is Xilinx offering in terms of SOMs? With the growth in broader SOM market, customers are naturally hitting a wall with processor and GPU-based solutions. And this leaves a gap for high performance and more flexible solutions, areas where Xilinx can thrive. This is particularly true in the space of Vision AI as the modern Vision AI systems are becoming incredibly complex. When Xilinx is stepping into a new product category called System on Modules, we looked at how Xilinx should empower developers to create their innovative ideas and that led to a brand name called Kriya System on Modules. Kriya SOMs harness the traditional advantages of Xilinx in terms of power, performance, and adaptability, delivered as a system on module. These production, deployable, adaptive modules enable developers of age-based applications to speed through their design phases. The tagline for Kriya Adaptive SOMs is accelerating innovation at the edge, which it truly does. This extends beyond our chip business and the production-ready solutions for edge applications, we focus on smart vision. Additionally, we are expanding our accessibility to software developers by providing accelerated applications to support them in the preferred design environments. And finally, this is enabled by our Vision AI Starter Kit that lowers the bar to get started and is available to purchase so that people can start growing and a strong community of software and AI developers is enabled. Excellent. So, Karan, what are some of the key features in terms of compute and interfaces of this new SOM? It's useful to highlight the key capabilities of the Kriya K26 SOM to all users. The K26 SOM is based on the Zinc Ultra Skill Plus MPSOC architecture. It features a quad core ARM A53 processor. The device used on the SOM is called XCK26. It is a custom built Zinc Ultra Skill Plus MPSOC that runs on the SOM optimally and exclusively. It's not available for chip down. This specifically built device for the SOM has 256K logic cells and that translates to 1.4 teraops per second AI processing and has encode and decode capabilities built in. 
As you would expect from Xilinx, the 245 IOs can adapt virtually to any requirement. These IOs are enabled through the dual 240 pin connectors located at the bottom of the SOM PCB. You can connect up to 15 cameras using MEP, sub LVDS, or SLVS EC. You can connect to networks at the speed of 40 GB per second and you have access to a wide range of USB peripherals. Last but not the least, the Zinc Ultra Skill Plus device is paired with 4 GB of DDR4 memory on the PS side. Okay, so. Karan, what does this solution buy me as an engineer? What are the key benefits of a SOM? Sure. So with the SOM approach, we propel you through a faster design cycle because you're starting at the more evolved point versus chip down. Specifically from a hardware-centric perspective, it's fairly straightforward to understand the value to an embedded design team of not having to do the design, build, and troubleshoot their own complex PCB with the Xilinx SOC. It's up to nine months of development time and customers that save on developments on the development side with customers telling us that it can be twice as much at time with the Xilinx SOMs. Even more so depending on the size and capabilities of a given customer and the volume of their product, there's a total product cost benefit by leveraging the volumes of a standard of the shelf product versus going at it alone. Beyond the initial impressions and upfront value, there's the value of overall full product lifecycle. It then enables customers to build multiple products based off the same SOM platform and reduces significant overhead of managing end-of-the-life components, especially components like DDR memory. This operational advantage is with you over the life cycle of the SOM, a minimum of 10 years. We like to say that SOMs help software developers start sooner and hardware designers finish faster. So Karan, what kind of applications are you seeing the K26 SOM being a popular choice for? As we double-click on the K26, the first offering in the Korea SOM portfolio it's important to understand the applications that K26 was built for to enable customers to take their ideas and create something innovative and tangible with a strict focus on a rapidly getting to production with Xilinx. A Xilinx needed to focus on specific applications. Our initial areas of focus are on security, smart city, traffic, and retail analytics, with the growing emphasis on machine vision and vision guided robotics over time. As we illustrated in the upcoming slide, all users and applications can benefit from the hardware value of the K26. But specifically, embedded software developers in these areas shown will receive the maximum benefits of the Kriya Vision AI solution. So let's talk a little bit about the KV260 Vision AI Starter Kit. What are we really looking at in terms of features for this kit? Xilinx is bringing a production-ready module to the market with a variety of turnkey applications to accelerate developers to the design cycle. But very critical to this flow is enabling developers with an affordable, easy-to-use platform for development. Enter the KV260 Vision AI Starter Kit. It consists of a non-production K26 SOM plugged into a Vision Carrier Card and equipped with a thermal solution of fan and heatsink. This palm-sized kit is purposed to build for supporting various Vision applications as described previously, including connectors for many different types of cameras and onboard ISP, as well as connectors for additional MEP interfaces that enable customers to custom ISPs, HDMI, and DisplayPort options as well. Beyond the vision-specific interfaces, there are a host of interfaces for general-purpose development. This includes flexible I.O. connectivity through Ethernet and USB, expandable via PMOD connectors. Additionally, this is a very accessible kit at a low price point of $199, and a wide availability with Xilinx and our channel partners like Abnet, DigiKey, and Mauser. This kit is an excellent starting point for developers using vision applications but given the price point and the open model of general accessibility, it's very well positioned for more organic growth for countless additional applications. Okay, so you mentioned that this kit is out of the box ready. Karan, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Sure, speaking of accessibility and out of the box readiness of the KV260, a critical element of this experience is ensuring developers can get started quickly. Towards that end, we have created a simple but relevant out of the box experience that enables to get started in less than an hour. And even more important is that the experience shows off the traditional FPG advantages, but requires no FPG experience to get started. That's right, no knowledge of FPGAs are needed for the starter kit, including downloading any FPGA tools required. The flow is simple. Connect the kit up, invoke the terminal on your host machine, insert the SD card, and turn on the board to load and run the applications. The starter kit comes with a very small document inside the box, which has a QR code. The QR code upon scanning takes users to a Getting Started web page that contains all the instructions to make the connections and guides them to run our first accelerated application, which is Smart Camera. The goal is to make the experience as smooth as possible and easy to understand. Okay, so now we have the hardware in the form of the starter kit. 
and we just ran our first application. Karan, is there anything else I can do? There's a lot of more things to do. We saw the basic smart camera application on the prior slide. Here's a glimpse of what else you can do. On the top row here, there are four, six accurate applications that you can purely edit while updating software and AI models. Or is it available soon at launch or after launch? These are open source applications provided at no charge and range from smart camera to an AI box and even something like a natural language processing. On the bottom row, you have apps from our partners. Speaking of third party applications, we are not going to walk you through everything on the slide, but I'd like to highlight one of the bottom right applications from Uncanny Vision that is doing license bit recognition. Coming on to this slide, we are going to walk through the competitive analysis on the next slide as well. Before we move on, Kriya Storms enables something special. Select Xilinx without needing to do place and route. Software developers don't know what place and route is and they don't need to worry about that with the Kriya Storms. We are very excited to announce that this is the first embedded app store for Edge applications. The app store contains both no charge like the Xilinx apps just described as we're enabling partners to offer apps for a fee. Enabling partners to monetize, they are incentivized to deliver high quality applications in turnkey and enable the software development for a number of application spaces. And because the solutions are tied to a specific board with fixed I.O., the approach is low burden than traditional IP development, which takes a longer time. The Zap Store is already a huge boon to partners, but notably Xilinx will be building additional monetization capabilities for partners into the App Store in the future, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so Karan, I know that Xilinx has a wide range of software tools to help FPGA developers of all kinds. Can these tools also be used for the SOMs? Yes, they can. So we just introduced uh, the Accelerate application, the Star Target, and how it all comes together for quick evaluation. When it's time to design and customize the end application, we have a very streamlined path for AI developers where you can leverage the applications as it is and you can replace the Xilinx AI model with your own custom AI model and application code and make this deployment ready. We have Vitus AI for this purpose. The pre-built hardware saves you the most time if you can use the fully paved road. If you want to customize beyond that, there's a software-centric path for further customization and accelerating the vision pipeline. We have our Vitus unified software platform for that. For the ultimate flexibility, there's always a traditional hardware or FPGA experience design path for customization at the RTL level. This is using our Vivado tool. For any path chosen, we offer a design environment familiar to both hardware and software developers. At every step of the way, there's a lot of videos, guides, and documentation to help you go from evaluation to design and to deployment eventually. Excellent. Now, you mentioned the App Store and accelerated applications. How are these accelerated applications key to the Xilinx SOM user? The concept of accelerated applications is the real star of the Kriya value proposition. Xilinx and our partners are building out a library of applications. You can think of them as production gate reference designs. Each pre-built application transforms the SOM to be a smart security camera or a little analytics camera and so forth. Same K26 SOM, just different hardware accelerators built in for a particular purpose. The app shown over here is known as Smart Camera as it supports the models in the Xilinx model zoo. In the diagram over here, the gray outer box is the Shutter Kit Carrier Card, which we'll explore in a few more slides, and the white box is the SOM, which has the hardware accelerators inside the SOM. You can also see the peripherals that can potentially be plugged in to the carrier card, which includes the USB camera, the MEP sensor, the Ethernet port, HDMI, or a DisplayPort monitor. The expectation from the developer is to write application software utilizing the functions and features of the accelerated application. Beyond that, if the AI model needs to be upgraded, the users can do that without doing an FPGA design. Beyond that still, if customizations are needed, they can purely edit this over the software using Vitus and its libraries for custom pre-processing and post-processing of data. AI developers can simply update their model using the preferred framework with Vitus AI, where embedded software developers can code with the existing hardware accelerators with the option to modify or replace them with Vitus. To extract even more performance, you can customize the application at the RTL level. This is not required, but this, this level of flexibility is available to you and those with traditional FPGA design expertise. I cannot stress how game-changing this is. Xilinx is doing the entire FPGA design for the users in these application areas. No further design is required, but of course, it is possible for users if they want to do it with the application on the software itself. With pre-built accelerators, this is what the world needs moving forward. Excellent. Now, Karan, can you share an example of a real-world application using the Xilinx SOM? And how does it compare to other SOMs in the market? Sure, I can walk you through one of the competitive analysis that we have done with the license based application running on the Kriya SOM and also running on a competitive embedded GPU-based SOM. 
Note that this is not an estimation or simulation. These are actual measurements that are painstakingly taken from real-world hardware to showcase the benefits of the Kriyasom approach. At the top, you have a simplified block diagram of the image processing AI and OCR pipeline to display. Across the board, the Kriya implementation has clear advantages. At 33 frames per second, that's 1.5 times the performance, you're able to support three independent streams versus two. And you're also doing it at half the power per stream. On the right side, depending if you need the commercial or the industrial grade device, there's a substantial cost per stream advantage in either case. You have similar results with other applications, but you're focused on this one because this is a third party application and not a Xilinx optimized app. In fact, it was originally designed for a competitive GPU SOM, but then he ported it to the Kriya and we mentioned previously we were able to take real measurements in the hardware itself. So Karan, what can my audience look forward to when they purchase this kit at launch? So let's circle back and summarize the portfolio of products based on a first K26 SOM. There is a KV260 Vision AI starter kit at $199. It's an excellent way to get up and running in less than an hour. It is also the perfect vehicle to leverage during the development phase along with the newly introduced accelerated applications. Next, when a developer is ready to move to deployment, they can transition to K26 production SOM. And like the starter kit, the SOM is competitively priced at $250 and $350 for the commercial and industrial grade variants respectively. These products in combination with the applications are an incredibly powerful way to unlock the capabilities of Xilinx and both the traditional developers and a whole new group of software developers. This is as usual just the first step in the journey, but this is an incredibly comprehensive first step aimed to large number of developers with targeted easy to use products. So while we are interested to see where this goes in the future, we are excited to see what people can do with it today. Excellent. Okay, well, Karan, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Xilinx. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.